Today I will show you how to make this chromatic glow effect. Yo, hello, it's Povika from Editing Visuals here, and let's begin. Alright guys, so the first thing you'll want to do is press Ctrl D to duplicate your clip, and now you'll want to right click on your clip, press Precompose, and here call it like Roto Brush or something, whatever you want to call it, because this will be the Roto Brush layer, and now press OK, now double press on the clip, and double press on here as well, and here we'll have our clip where we can actually Roto Brush it, and now go here to the Roto Brush tool, and with the Roto Brush tool, we have all already made a tutorial on how to roto brush so we can check that out but if you want a simple version all you have to do is basically just paint over your character and then if you want to like make this tool bigger you can press ctrl and then just use your mouse to make it bigger or smaller or if you see like edges like this then you can hold alt and like delete a bit here if you delete a bit more then you can paint over like here with this green one and that's kind of like the idea of roto brushing and then just go around like and fix frames and i will be back after i finish roto brushing all right guys i finished roto brushing and now what you want to do is go below the roto brush layer but on top of music video layer or whatever main composition layer you had and press ctrl alt y to make a new adjustment layer and the first effect we want to add is deep glow and i like to keyframe the exposure here next effect you want to add is as pseudo color this effect requires the sapphire plugin and deep glow requires the deep glow plugin make it at a start to 2.6 and keyframe it. Now add S invert and just keep the settings like that. Now add S dissolve luma and make it at a start to 66% and keyframe it as well. Now add another deep glow, make it to 0.26 here and keyframe it as well and make the radius to 575. Now add S flicker, make it at a start to 0.86 and keyframe it as well. Now add S distort chroma, make the amount to 0.7 at the start, keyframe it as well. Now make the blur lens to 400 and also keyframe that as well. Uh, now add color balance HLS and just keyframe the hue at the start like this, we'll change it later. And now add S distort RGB, make the amount 1.12 at the start and keyframe it as well. Now add post rise and make it to 3 at the start. And the last effect you want to add is motion tiled make it to mirror edges make this to 150 and this one to 150 as well and here we have the basic effect just right now uh nothing happens yet but we can mess around a bit right now so we can press e and go to s pseudo color and go to compositing options and where it's effect opacity at the moment we'll just need to make it to zero and we'll just keyframe it okay and also let's go to s invert right here and where it is compositing options also press here and make the effect opacity to zero and also keyframe it and now we already have this insanely cool effect uh you can like just look at it see what you think this is not the final effect don't worry we will do a lot of adjustments with keyframes and the colors and just everything but before that i want to tell you about my newest damage 3 pack which i have just released it is just an absolutely insane vhs slash crt slash ken carson style pack which has so many effects that i've always wanted to make but i just used to not have a clue how to make them that's why i started to learn and learn and learn and now i made them and i use them every day they're as simple as just taking the effect and dragging and drop it on your adjustment layer and that's it and you can use code povicas to get a five dollar discount and let's get back to the tutorial so now i can press u and it will bring up every keyframe that we had and now you'll want to go three frames forward like this and i'll go down here and i'll drag the s pseudo color effect opacity right here and the s invert effect opacity i'll drag it right here one frame forward to that now I'll go four frames forward so right here and here you will actually need to change a bit so make the s inward opacity to 100 and make this one to 100 now go seven frames forward and here make the s invert to zero percent go one frame back and here make it 100 now go like 14 frames 15 frames forward for me it's gonna say one second my composition settings are 24 frames per second so technically from 
13 to 1 second it would have to be 11 frames forward so quite honestly don't make it like me if you don't have 24 frames just mess around with what you have but i'm gonna make it to 11 frames forward so at this position right here and here i'll make the s pseudo color effect opacity to zero and now let's select these keyframes right here the effect opacity keyframes and press f9 now go to the graph editor and here i like to make the graph something like this like point this out here and this one like a bit out here and at the start i like to make it like go up fast kind of like that just play around what looks good for you and i like it like this now go out of there go back to this keyframe right here and go five frames forward so right here and now keyframe the deep glow exposure right here and now go eight frames forward so right here and here we can actually press ctrl shift d to cut and delete because this will be the last frame the effect will last on and here let's go down i like to make the deep glow here to zero as pseudo color to 4.09 uh, as the solve luma percentage to zero deep glow 2 to zero uh s flicker to zero uh here i just keep the blur ends as this don't need to change anything and i like to make the s distort amount to zero now in the color balance hls i make it to 355 and i make this to one now s distort rgb amount zero now let's go back to our effects that we had and below polarize will add a couple of effects that you might want to have or might not want to have if you don't want them it's fine but i like to have transform and now add it below polarize and make the scale here to 100 just keyframe it at the end and add displacement map below transform uh make sure this is on the adjustment layer right here like that and i like to make the displacement map to zero here and this one zero as well and i like to keyframe this one right here but not this one i'm not gonna use this one but you can use it it's just gonna be a vertical so in the y scale and not the x scale and i'm gonna go back to the first frame we had i'll make this to 253 what you now want to do is go to posterize and go to the starting frame keyframe it like this and now go to the last frame and make it 100 here now press u again uh go to the start of transform uh make the transform to something like 153 you can select like these keyframes right here press f9 and you can go to transform scale graph editor and make the graph like this kind of sharp yeah this is pretty sharp right here now go to displacement map right here and make the graph go to here a little less sharp than the transform graph but still sharp now go out of there uh, go to s distort rgb and make it also kind of sharp but not that sharp as well something like like this yeah that's pretty good now go to s distort chroma mount keyframes and select them both press f9 as well and go to the graph editor here for this graph i kind of make like a stupid graph I, I drag this down a bit more and i extend this up a bit like that uh this gives a really cool effect and for the last one you'll have to go to deep low right here press f9 and i'll go to the graph editor and you can set this like this yeah very simple like that and also go to s dissolve luma percentage select the keyframes press f9 go to the graph editor make it chop fast like really fast yeah that should look really cool and another thing i like to do is go up here and press on this button uh this will make the whole scale part and just the whole effect a bit smoother it will give this motion blur and the last thing you can do is press u to see all the keyframes right here and what you can do here is go to the effects press ctrl a hold shift and select every keyframe right here and you can go to animation save animation preset and here you can call it like chromatic glow effect press save and you will have it saved as a preset so whenever you want to add it you'll just have to add a new adjustment layer uh, go to the frame where you want it to start and you'll just have to type chromatic glow effect and drop it here and this is the effect you'll have. I think it looks super dope. And just a reminder, if you guys want VHS and CRT effects that are just a drag and drop away, then you can get the damage to pack called Povicos for $5 off. That's about it, guys. Make sure to mess around with the settings a lot and have a fun and productive day. See ya.